Okay, sorry for the interruption. Uh, I had a distraction happen. So just to continue off from my other video that I just made, uh, I think that Brazil will experience three teams in their group that are going to give them too much respect. I really do think that. I think Ecuador uh, may not realize that the group is there for the taking, for the winning, because of the, the um, mediocre squad that Brazil really is bringing to the tournament. It's the poorest form they've been in in several years. But I think that Peru and Ecuador are ultimately, they're going to show Brazil too much respect. That's what I think is going to happen. And I think Brazil, as always, is going to find a way to win the group. So Brazil is going to come in second. Now, as far as results of all the games, I have Brazil and Ecuador tying the first game 2-2. Two to two. I have Peru beating Haiti. 3-1. to one. I think Haiti will score. That is a, a prediction I have. Haiti will score. They won't get shut out in all games. Brazil will beat Haiti 4-0 or 5-0 in the next game. Ecuador will draw Peru. I'm being kind here to Peru because I think that the, um, the lineup that they're heading into this tournament is very weak. Uh, they're not taking the tournament as seriously as Brazil and Ecuador. But to play devil's advocate, Ecuador has a tendency of screwing up in Copa Americas, no offense to Ecuadorian fans, so I'm going to say a draw, and then the final two group games, uh, Brazil against Peru, Brazil will beat Peru because they want to lock up the group and affirm their position in the next round as the winners, and I think that Ecuador will beat Haiti, so in group B, I think Brazil will have seven points, Ecuador will have five points, Peru will have four points, and Haiti will have zero points, Brazil and Ecuador will advance. Now group C, this group gave me a lot of headaches. Why? Because the opening match is Mexico versus Uruguay. I think, guys, the winner of this group is going to get to the final. I do. I didn't say win it. I didn't say win it. I think the winner of this group is going to get to the final. And if Luis Suarez was 100% fit and was able to play in the group stages in all three games of this group, I would pick Uruguay to win this group and ultimately reach the final. But uh, his absence is going to have a huge consequence on the team itself. Yes, I know Uruguay performs very well without Luis Suarez. They did well in qualifying without him. They have a lot of attacking talent up front with Diego Roland, Edison Cavani, Kristen Stuani. And their defense, you know, the rock of their defense is Jimenez and Godin, which was Atletico Madrid's basic back line. Uh, I think Uruguay do have the best defense in this tournament, but not having Suarez in the first two games is going to cost them, I feel. And Mexico is just in fantastic form lately, unbeaten in 18 games, seven clean sheets, there's really no other team entering this tournament that are in better shape than them at the moment. Uh, it, this tournament could not have come at a better time for El Tri. So I think that Mexico is actually going to be the main beneficiary of Suarez's absence. And I think they're going to win the group. But I think they're going to do it on goal difference. Uh, which is really unfortunate to see a group decided on goal difference. I was having this conversation with one of my commenters uh, on another video. I think his name is Rod. And we agreed that the winner of the first match between Mexico and Uruguay will win, uh, excuse me, will reach the final. Now, as far as predictions for all the games in this group, I'm going to say that Uruguay and Mexico will end 0-0 just because I think Uruguay's defense will be able to get a result against El Tri, and they're very strong and uh, on set pieces. They can get a goal on, on Mexico and break their clean sheet record. So I'm going to say 0-0, though I expect Mexico to dominate most of the game. The next match is Venezuela against Jamaica. Now, Venezuela is coming into this tournament. I think they're in decent form. They came off a, fr a friendly win over Chile, 2-1. to one. They have experience against playing South American sides now from the Copa America last summer where they exited the group to Argentina, Paraguay, and Uruguay, but they only lost all their games 1-0. Because of that experience, they reached the final of the Gold Cup. I think it was a very valuable learning lesson for the reggae boys, and I don't think they're going to uh, finish last in this group. 
I think they're going to either beat Venezuela or they're going to get a result against Venezuela, and they're going to finish in third in this group. But I don't think it's going to be enough to advance. Uh, maybe they can pull off an upset and squeak in second to advance, but I don't see it happening. Uh, their manager, Winfried Schaefer, has done an excellent job with the team. Confidence has been restored. They've gotten better in World Cup qualifying, even though they started all out in a really weak manner, losing at home to Panama 2-0. And I think they're going to get a result versus Venezuela. Venezuela right now, uh, the national team is sitting dead last in World Cup qualifying. They have one point out of a potential 18 from their first six games. Uh, and much like the country itself that's going through economic and societal collapse, the Venezuelan Football Association is in disarray with calls for Noel San Vicente to be dismissed as coach. And the team is in big trouble right now. They're struggling to score goals. And it doesn't look like they're going to qualify for the World Cup because one point after 18 game, uh, at one point after six games of qualifying, no team in history of Common Bowl qualifying has ever qualified from that. So I think Venezuela are going to finish bottom of this group. So in the prediction, I think that they'll get a draw in their first game. Uh, or maybe Jamaica will win. You know, I'm going to say Jamaica wins. Yeah, I'm going to say Jamaica will beat Venezuela and get three points. The next group games, Mexico versus Jamaica. It's a rematch of the Gold Cup final from last year. Jamaica will be looking for revenge, but I don't think they're good enough to get it. I think Mexico should be, should win that game. Mexico will win that game. Mexico will get four points. I think the scoreline will be 2-1. to one. Uruguay against Venezuela. If Suarez is back, Uruguay will stomp all over Venezuela. Even if he's not, I expect Uruguay to beat Venezuela for the reasons I just stated before. It'll be a closer game because Venezuela will be seeking to bunker in against the Uruguayan attack. I think Uruguay wins that game 1-0. So heading into the final two group games of um, Group C, we have Mexico against Venezuela and Jamaica against Uruguay. Now Suarez is back for this game. Again, I think Uruguay will lombast Jamaica. No offense to Jamaica, they won't have much of a chance. But I'm going to say Uruguay will get a result anyway, even if he's not there, and they'll get seven points. Now, traditionally, uh, Venezuela tends to force Mexico to, to draws for some reason, but I'm going to have to give the win to Mexico, guys. Again, I see this group being dominated by Mexico and Uruguay, and honestly, I think it's going to come down to goal difference determining this winner. And I think at the end of the table, Uruguay is going to concede fewer goals than Mexico, but Mexico is going to score more goals, and that's going to be as a result of the consequence of Suarez's absence. Uh, so I think Mexico is just barely, barely going to win this group with Uruguay in second, Jamaica in third, and Venezuela in last with zero points. Group B, uh, excuse me, Group D, Argentina, Chile, Panama, Bolivia. I'm just going to say it right now. Bolivia is going to finish this group with zero points. Uh, they are in big trouble. They've lost six of their last seven games, both competitive and friendlies. The most recent one being against the United States for zero. It could have easily been a higher score. And as much as I love my U.S. team, if you can't beat the United States, you're not going to beat the two South American powerhouses who played against each other in the final of last year's Copa America. Uh, so Bolivia is going to lose all three games. They're going to get zero points. Now, the winner of this group will likely come down to the winner of Argentina versus Chile. I think that match is going to end in a draw because Argentina tends to start tournaments off slowly. So I think it's going to be 1-1, one, one, maybe 2-2. Two, two. Panama will temporarily top the table with a win over Bolivia, 2-1. Uh, I think Panama versus uh, Chile will determine who gets the second spot. And honestly, guys, I wouldn't be surprised to see Panama steal second and eliminate Chile because Chile is somewhat in a vulnerable form right now. They just have a new coach, PZ, since Jorge Sampaoli is no longer at the post. And they lost a recent friendly to Jamaica 2-1. to one. It could be a sign of some trouble at the back. 
and Panama put on a respectable display versus Brazil the other day in a 2-0 loss. They never looked like they were going to get crushed, even though they did lose the game. And I think Panama can force a draw with Chile with their defense. And that's what I think might just happen. But... I'm going to give Chile the benefit of the doubt because they're just spoiled and enriched attacking talent with, you know, Sanchez, Isla, Penilla, Arturo Vidal, Fernandez, and Claudio Bravo in the goalposts. So I'm going to give it to Chile, but just barely. I think Panama could spring a surprise, and I actually think that game is going to end in a draw, but Chile will advance uh, because of a more superior uh goal differential, or, or because of a draw against Argentina. So I'm going to say Argentina advances in first, and Chile will come in second. So that's my predictions for the group stages. Oh, as far as score lines, okay, Argentina 1-1 Chile, Panama 2-1 Bolivia, Argentina 2-0 Panama, uh, Chile 4-1 Bolivia, and then Argentina 3-0 Bolivia, and Chile 2-2, Panama.